Great day. My name is Stefan Williams and I'll be a moderator for this day's lecture. Please silence all cell phones and all electronic devices. Welcome to the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research. This is a school and not a church. And neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a non-profit, non-denominational religious and scientific research organization dedicated to showing the proof of the existence of Yahweh our Elohim and the operation of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operating throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision accompanied by a divine revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kelly, in the state of Ohio in the year 1931. 
We were incorporated in the state of California in the year 1958. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, New Mexico, Jamaica, Africa, and certain other foreign countries. The Omaha class college meetings was established in the year 2016. In this school, we use the true and original name and title of the Father, the Word or Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been improperly substituted by Lord. The true title of the Word or Son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted by God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of a physical body is Yahshua. It has been enrollingly substituted by Jesus Christ. Now, Lord and God are titles and not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. We now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a, is a divine title. That means that Elohim is a title that our Creator chose for Himself. Jesus is a name, but it's an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part into any good dictionary or encyclopedia would prove that neither the Hebrew language, the Greek language, or the Latin languages have neither character, characters or letters in the alphabets that would produce the sound that is made by this letter J. And neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1400 years after the Messiah's death. So, such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible renderings of the true and original name of the Father and the Son. Christ is a title just like Lord and God. Now, Yahweh is pure spirit, and in this state he is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh symbolized on this chart as a cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He merely chose a cloud to symbolize himself because a cloud is no particular or descriptive shape or form. We have drawn a cloud all around the edges of this chart to show you how everything on this chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Now, Yahweh, knowing that man could not perceive of him in his pure spirit state, took on shape and took on form right within himself as Elohim. This is the word or son a super incorporeal being that is having a shaken form of a man but without flesh and blood. This form can only be seen in divine visions and understood in divine relations. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested himself in the physical body and walked the earth plane as Yahshua the Messiah whom the world called Jesus Christ. Now, there's only one name given, given unto salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet intelligent question you should ask yourself is, what was the name of the Savior during the time that he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title can be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible, also in this school, we teach by a divine pattern of the universe. It is called divine pattern of the universe because of Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses on top of Mount Sinai and showed him this tabernacle pattern in the vision. He then instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the walls of Sinai. The pattern consists of a most holy place, a holy place, in the court roundabout. 
These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. Also in this school, we show proof how that everything in the universe is made and operates and functions according to this threefold tabernacle pattern and absolutely nothing escapes this pattern. <clears throat> now, our 10 primary constitutional aims and objectives of the Institute are as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is and how he actually exists. Second, to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without distinction of race, nationality, sex, creed, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law, or so-called law of nature, and powers latent in man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religions, philosophy, psychology, modern, practical, and occult science. Fifth, to extirpate current superstitions, skepticisms, and ignorance. Six, to learn, know, and understand the operations of Yahweh's eternal purpose through dispensation in ages. Seventh, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons operate the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eighth, to earnestly contend for the common salvation of faith, which is once delivered unto the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained. There is no other name given among men whereby man can be saved, save in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. And tenth, that is to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth state. Our watchword is peace. Our slogan is speak the truth. We'll begin today's lecture with the opening prayer, and that prayer will be given by Sister Rapunzel Williams. We'll have two selections of songs, standing announcements, guest acknowledgments, and our scripture lesson for this day's class will be Matthew, the 24th chapter. And that will be read by Dr. Stefan Williams. Let's all remain seated for the opening prayer. Good day, class. Good day. Let's bow our hearts and minds too. Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, Messiah. Father, we'd like to thank you once again for bringing us back to another class to learn more of your purpose, your pattern, your plan. I did thank you, Father, for life, health, and strength today. Uh, I'd like to ask you, Father, let this class be food for our spiritual souls today. Uh, all these things we ask in the only begotten Son, Yahshua, Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes. 
dulu ya. Good day again, class. Good day. We have no visiting brothers from any other branches. We have no first-time visitors or no returning visitors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Great day again, everyone. Great day. Our scripture lesson for this for this day's class is Matthew, the twenty-fourth chapter. And I'll be reading it from the uh, Holy, from, excuse me, I'll be reading the Matthew, the 24th chapter from the King James Version. And I'm reading it from uh, my tablet from uh, the BibleGateway.com. All right? Our All scripture right. lesson is Matthew, the 24th chapter from the King James Version. And I'll be certain the true and correct names of the Heavenly Father and our Savior. Uh, where 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 it needs to be, okay? Okay. Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, King James Version. And Yahshua went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. And Yahshua said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahshua answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name saying, I am the Messiah and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall, shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child. And to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as what was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is the Messiah, or there believe it not. For there shall arise false messiahs and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and great wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive 
the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shine even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the day of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore for ye know not what hour your Savior, your Savior doeth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his master has made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, but, and, but and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Savior delays his coming, excuse me, verse 48, uh, verse 48 again, Matthew 24, chapter King James Version, verse 48. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My master delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. The, the, the master of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of. Excuse me, uh, verse, verse 50 again, um, Matthew the 24th chapter, verse 50, King James Bible. Says the Savior, went off. excuse me, excuse 
excuse me, verse 50, King James Bible, 24th chapter, verse 50. It says, The Savior of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Mm. I just read for you Matthew, the 24th chapter from the King James Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, great day to everyone. Great day. I'd like to remind everyone to please sign us all cell phones and all electronic devices. Thank you. Now, I'd like to call my first speaker of this day's lecture. I'd like to call on Sister Rapunzel Williams. Sister Williams. Great day again, class. Great day. It's an honor and a pleasure to uh, be here today uh, to learn more about my Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, Messiah. Mm -hmm. uh, to learn more of His purpose, His power, and His plan. Um, as the moderation states, what you see before you is pictorial illustration, it is a divine vision accompanied by divine revelation mm -hmm. given to our founder, Dr. Henry C. Kinley in the state of Ohio in the year of 1931. Um, uh, this was a, uh, this Yahweh himself uh, took over Dr. Henry Kinley's body and it was Yahweh doing the teaching and not Dr. Henry C. Kinley doing the teaching. That's right. It was Yahweh doing the teaching. Just like it's Yahweh doing the teaching in these classes that are everywhere around right. the world here. Um, for, um, could you give the verse where it says, no man can teach you? Um, no man can teach you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go to, um, um, First John, the second chapter, uh, let's see here, and 27 verse. First John, the second chapter, verse 27, Holy Name Bible. It says, But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But at the same anointing teacheth you of all things and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it has taught you, ye shall abide in him. It says you need no man to teach you because that man's not doing no teaching in the first place. It's Yahweh inside that man is doing the teaching. Mm -hmm. Just like how I was first introduced to um, Yahweh by Dr. Stephon Williams. It was not Dr. Williams himself doing no teaching. It was what it was inside of him that was doing the teaching to me, right. so I can know about who my true heavenly father was. Right. Um, I used to would say, uh, "Thank you for showing me," but he would tell me, "No, don't thank me for showing you nothing, because I showed you nothing." Right. It was what's in me. It was Yahshua himself that was in me showing you, huh? That's but right. Don't, he said, "Don't give him no praises or anything, because he don't deserve it." It's what's inside of him that's doing the teaching. Right. Okay. Um, so, like I said, what you see before you is a pictorial, pictorial illustration of the Bible itself. These pictures, they have verses and chapters, chapters and verses on them. Yeah. So, whatever you look at on here, you can go and go back to the book and refer, and then you can read it, and you can see it at the same time. You can't get no better than that. Mm -hmm. uh, like we say in our moderation, this is a school and not a church. Yeah. Okay? Um... um I would first like to say, I am thankful and grateful today, it's being that it's Sunday, I would be inside somebody else's door mm -hmm. 
meaning I'll be inside somebody else's building, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But truly, I know that this is the door. Huh? Yeah. This is the door right here. This is the door. This is the son. This is the savior. Now, now I'm not saying this picture here. This is just a pictorial illustration. Right. But, but it's Joshua the Messiah. He's the door. Right. He's the light. He's a lamb. He's yeah. a shepherd. Right. You know, he's a, he's all these things. Right. So I'm not inside of a building in a door in their door this Sunday this Sunday evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am not in a in a building that have a lot of different doors. Yeah. Okay. I'm in a building that it's one door. Right. And he's the door. Could you could you pick that up for mm -hmm. me, please? That's John, the tenth chapter here. John the tenth chapter. Yes, John the tenth chapter, ninth verse from the Holy Name Bible. I am the door. Mm -hmm. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Mm -hmm. Y'all always say he is a door. That's right. Not these buildings is not a door. <laughs> not these buildings where these uh, false prophets <laughs> be at. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this, like this uh, chart right here. Uh, the apostasy. Apostasy, apostasy chart. Uh -huh. Apostasy chart. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what you see on here it says the way, the truth, and the light. Mm -hmm. Now that's where Yahweh is. Okay, right. as you see, it's just a little small area right here. Mm -hmm. But on both sides of it, it's wide and dark. Okay, mm -hmm. we have a lot of false prophets inside all these buildings. Yeah. I don't care what kind of building you may want to go and call yourself or <laughs> worship who you want to worship. Yeah. But you worshiping the wrong thing in there. You worshiping this here, Lord, Jehovah, right. God, and Jesus Christ. Right. Huh? And in, inside these door buildings. Right, huh? right. Because Yahweh is not inside these buildings. Mm -hmm. Could you pick that one up for me, please? Okay. Let's see here. Acts, the 17th chapter. And I'll start at um, verse 24. Holy Name Bible. Acts, 17th chapter, verse 24. Yahweh, who made the world and all things therein. Seeing that he is ruler of heaven and earth, mm -hmm. he the one of not in temples made with hands. So if you thinking you gonna go here on this Sunday day and want to do this Mother Day thing they got going on uh -huh, today, uh -huh. which I'm glad that y'all went and took me out all them corner orisons, yep. all them crazy ceremony stuff they got going on today. Yeah. You're not going to find Yahweh inside them buildings, inside that door. Right. Okay? Because Yahweh, like I said, Yahweh is the door. Mm -hmm. And and if if you know anything about your Heavenly Father and Yahshua the Messiah, mm -hmm. he said he's in the Father and the Father in him mm -hmm. and he in us. Could you pick that up for me, mm -hmm. please? That's John 14 chapter. Let's see here. John 14, um, John 14, chapter, verse 20, Holy Name Bible. It says, At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Mm -hmm. Now, he didn't say he was beside me. Right. He didn't say he was in front of me. Mm -hmm. He didn't say he was behind me. Right. He said, I'm right there inside of you. All oh, right. Huh? So if you try to look for me in the sky somewhere, you're not going to find me. Because I've been inside you all along. Right. I ain't just all of a sudden decided to get inside you. But I already was already in you. Right. Huh? I was in you when you were still in your mama's room. I was in you from way back here. Mm -hmm. huh? From the foundation of the world, I was in you. Right. Huh? Yahweh just didn't chose it. Get inside, but he always he always been there. That's where he always resided, right yeah. inside you. Yeah. Um. Now, uh, the scripture reading was about the false prophets. Like I had said, you gonna find a whole lot of false prophets, false teachers, mm -hmm. false ministers, false whatever else in these inside these buildings. Mm -hmm. But and but the 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 Lord Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But Yahweh. Elohim, Yahshua Messiah, is unity, not trinity. Mm -hmm. Could you pick that up for me, please? Mm -hmm. 
and Deuteronomy uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 4 Holy Name Bible Hear O Israel mm -hmm. Yahweh our Elohim is Yahweh a unity Yahweh our Elohim is Yahweh a unity These three are one mm -hmm. They're never separated at no time right. They're together 24 7 mm -hmm. And if you have If your body stays intact For 24 7 then you also are Yahweh. You, you're, you're Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua Messiah. Because you can't separate no parts of your body that expect to live. Right. Everything has to be intact. Head cavity, chest cavity, abdominal cavity. Mm -hmm. You can live without any one of these limbs on your body. Right. But these three major apartments, <laughs> compartments or body functions, mm -hmm. you need these three in order to live. Right. Okay. Um, and you need... You need Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua Messiah to mm -hmm. live in inside of you. Yeah. Um, uh, if you have anything, got anything out of that, I just want to share a little bit there. If you got anything, I, and I, I like to say, I also like to say, um, from our um, transcript Fridays was. Um, had talked about these false prophets mm -hmm. and we have had a, talked about false prophets before in our class yeah. but the the transcript Fridays I think really uh, is another avenue of knowing more about your Heavenly Father uh, and and um, then you know it's a, it's a different avenue to also know about something else to get inside of you to know about your Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. along with the the uh, Elohim book, and then you, the transcripts, and then having class. Yeah, I think that the you know that's just something else to help feed your soul. Right. Okay. So that false prophets had come from our transcript, uh, which was a Friday mm -hmm. Friday transcript. So mm -hmm. if you got anything out of that, all praises go to Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Williams. Thank you, Hallelujah. Now I'd like to call on our second speaker for today's class. I'd like to call on Dr. Stefan Williams, which is myself. Great day, everyone. Great day. Um, I'm thankful and grateful to be here. I truly enjoyed the, pre the previous remarks of, of the previous speaker. That was enlightening and very edifying. Um, she already said, this is a school, not a church. And so, like I say every time, that um, we should anticipate learning something of our Heavenly Father and Savior every time that He brings us back to another class, okay? Yes. To learn more of Him, how He truly is, how He actually exists. All right? Yes. Um, so let's con let's going to pick up where the previous speaker left off. Now I want you to get right in the scripture lesson. Get uh, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter uh, around the twenty, around the fourth verse. Okay. And let let the, let, let the viewing audience know what Bible you're reading from and what chapter and verse you're reading from, please. I'm reading from the Holy Name Bible, mm -hmm. Matthew twenty four and four. Read. And Yahshua answered and said unto them, Uh huh. Take heed that. Take heed, you, right? Take heed that no man deceive you. All right. So take heed that no man deceive you. Okay. Now we need to look up the word deceive real quick here. Okay. All right. The definition of the word deceive. Um, deceived. Let's see here. How to spell D E D D E. Okay, I have it. I have okay. it. I have it. Deceive. I've been reading that definition from the second college edition, the American Heritage Dictionary, 
the definition of the word deceive. Okay. It says to cause a person to believe what is not true, mislead. Mm -hmm. Okay. To catch by guile, ensnare, to practice deceit. It says um, synonyms are betray, beguile, delude, mislead, double cross, mm. bamboozle, hoodwink, <laughs> duped. <laughs> Ain't that something? That's something. So that's what Joshua said. Um, um, Take heed that no man deceive, deceive you, right? Mm -hmm. Now get down to the verses where it talks about false prophets. Uh, Holy name Bible. Uh -huh. Matthew 24 and 24. Read. For there shall arise false messiah. Now Yahshua Messiah saying, now this is before Yahshua Messiah got on the cross, okay? Now he's speaking while he was walking around in his physical body, like the first speaker said now, that Yahweh Elohim Yahshua is a unity and not a trinity, okay? Yes. So in other words, we have Yahweh who was the Father. Mm -hmm. I mean, in other words, just, just, just pay attention. Yahweh in, in, in his ultimate state of existence, right, mm -hmm. is pure spirit, and that's what it states in a moderation, okay? Yes. That Yahweh is pure spirit, right? He is the source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything, right? right. He is inscrutable in his pure spirit states of existence, right? Right. So he takes on a shape and form of Yahweh Elohim. It's still Yahweh, mm -hmm. Yahweh now in his superincorporeal form as Yahweh Elohim, right? Right. Okay? Can only be seen in, in this state right here mm -hmm. in visions, okay? Right. Like he gave it to the man Moses, a divine vision. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and accompanied by the divine revelation, he also gave John here on Isla Patmos a mm -hmm. divine visit. Okay, the divine revelation of Yahweh Elohim. You got mm -hmm. John and Moses in the self same one. Okay, right. All right. So this is Yahweh. Yahweh here. Yahweh here. Now it's Yahweh in shape and form. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's Yahweh manifesting himself in the physical form. Okay, mm -hmm. as Joshua, but it's true is Yahweh manifesting in the flesh, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's Yahweh manifesting in the, in the flesh as Yahshua the Messiah, okay? So all the so Yahweh El Yahshua, when he was walking the earth plane, okay, mm -hmm. before he hung on the cross here, it was taking place with the with the speaker the reading from Matthew 24 and 24. Third age, post looking age, okay? Mm -hmm. now, that's what he's speaking to. Now, what did he say to him? He said, For there shall arise false messiahs. For there shall arise false messiahs. And false prophets. And false prophets. Three. And shall show great signs. Now, science. hold it now. Wait, wait. Just, just wait a minute now. <laughs> he said, Now, now he said, Now, I, I Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, the Messiah, I am the Messiah. Mm -hmm. There's only one. That's right. Like the first speaker said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life, I'm the door. Mm -hmm. You got me? I'm the light of the world. You understand? Mm -hmm. I'm the window. That's right. I'm the bread from heaven. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm everything. But I'm just like the first speaker said, I'm use it as a pictorial illustration. You understand that Yahshua Messiah is not on the cross any longer, okay? Right. Now for another lecture. But just a pictorial illustration, we understand that he's right back in his super incorporeal form, okay? Mm -hmm. But while he was manifested in this physical body, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say physical body, I'm going to say special prepared body, okay? Yeah. All right? Now, this we're speaking at this time, the third age, post moving age, okay? Mm -hmm. Read on. For there shall. Arise, false messiah. Well, he said, shall. So he said, this is a guarantee. This is going to go on. Read on. And false prophets. They said, I'm the, I'm, I'm the true prophet. I'm the true messiah. But that's going to rise. That's going to rise false prophets mm -hmm. and false messiahs. And we got to read about the word deceive, right? That's right. Deceive the, 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 the hoodwink. That's right. To do, right? Mm -hmm. To uh, uh, We understand what that means. Read on. And false prophets, uh -huh. and shall show great signs and wonders, uh -huh. in so much that if there were possible, if it were possible now, 
they should deceive the very elect. Uh -huh. so, we understand the, so we understand the elect is those that are filled with the spirit of Yahshua on the side. So they can't be tricked. Why? That's because right. Yahshua is inside of them. Mm -hmm. You got me? Mm -hmm. He's the shepherd. We are the sheep. Mm -hmm. Right? The sheep know the, the shepherd's voice. You got me? Mm -hmm. Will not be deceived. Will not follow deception and lies. Okay? Yes. So he said, false prophets and false messiahs shall arise and shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. If it was possible, if, if it was possible, mm -hmm. not possible, if it was, they would he, they, they would deceive the very elect. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's focus on that for a while. Okay. About this deception. Okay. Okay, so now let's get where this deception first jumped off at. Let's get, get uh, Revelations. Revelation. 12 and, and 8. Revelation 12 and 8, uh, 4 and 8 Bible. Read on. And there was a war in heaven. Now, I'm going to use this tabernacle pattern, okay? Okay. As a, a pictorial illustration, okay? It says at this top one here, top compartment, of the tabernacle it says most holy place right mm -hmm. and then this most holy place or, or you say yeah most holy place I can say third heaven okay? okay there's no flesh and blood there okay now it said there's a war in heaven right was being in past tense right mm -hmm. now it doesn't have it on this pictorial illustration but I do believe it has it in the uh I could be wrong, but I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But I be, but I believe that in the in the first um, editions of our school book, the Elohim book, mm -hmm. was the first published, I believe, in 1961. I believe it had a picture in there with a um, uh, 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 Lucifer was that covering cherubim. It actually had a pictorial illustration that he's on the backside. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Covering the Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel, you understand? Yes. Before he was kicked out. You understand? Mm -hmm. But still in all, I'm, I'm using this as a pictorial illustration, but it does say that he's a covering cherubim over in, I believe, it's Ezekiel 28 or or Isaiah 14. If we have time, we can pick, that, pick those up. But it says, now re repeat that again. Okay. And... Uh, Revelations 12 and 8. Read. And that there was a war in heaven. It said there was a war in heaven past tense. Now, a lot of people don't know that, but they you read it for yourself. Any Bible will tell you that. Revelations, you read Revelation the whole chapter, okay? Mm -hmm. It said there was a war in heaven. See, people talking about they want to go to heaven, mm -hmm. but it said it was a war there. Mm -hmm. You got me? So that tells me it wasn't peace all the time That's right. in heaven. You got me? Mm -hmm. So there was a war in heaven. Now, what took place in heaven? There was a war there. And what else? Michael and his angels fought. You said Michael and his angels fought, Reed. Fought against the dragon. Against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. And the dragon fought and his angels. So there was a war. Now, what was war about, Reed? And prevailed not. And prevailed not. Now, now, the dragon and his angels, they, they prevailed not. Meaning they lost the war. Mm -hmm. You understand? So W-A-R means wrong against right. You got me? Mm -hmm. Or, or truth, excuse me, or truth against a lie. Okay, we're gonna okay. find about we're gonna find about that in a minute. Okay. Read on. Neither was there a place found anymore in heaven. Uh-huh. And the great dragon was cast out. Uh -huh. That old serpent uh -huh. called the devil and Satan, uh -huh. which deceived the whole world. Now I said deceived the whole world, right? Mm -hmm. Now what did now we just read about the the word the word deceive, right? Right. From from Matthew twenty four and four is that right? That's right. They asked the question, Yash, when when will we know the signs of the end of the time, of the end of the world gonna come? He said, Do not be deceived, right? Mm -hmm. Let no man deceive you, right? Right. That's right there, Matthew twenty four. Mm -hmm. Now you're just reading over there in Revelation, right? Mm -hmm. It said deceive there, right? Yes. Deceive. So what we find what the word deception mean? Deceive mean? Uh. It means to, to lie, do, to, to do, to, to be hoodwinked, yeah. to lie, to trick, right? Mm -hmm. To mislead, is that right? right? So 
this this took place in an angelic before <laughs> that's physical, right? right? Uh huh. So this, this is where the scepter jumped off fat, right? That's right. Right. So so in other words, the angelic, I mean the uh, the satanic spirit of Lucifer or mm -hmm. the dragon, and the dragon got some angels. You got me. Mm -hmm. That he that he lied to that's believe right. a lie. Mm -hmm. You got me. Mm -hmm. Was misled and and and. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, he mis he, so he was able to mislead, you understand, That's to right. hoodwink, uh -huh. to do, right? That's where it jumped off, ain't side, y'all? Mm -hmm. So you got a true but gift of lies jumped off right off in heaven, right? right. You see how it go? Yes. Read on. They deceived the whole world. Read. Which deceived the whole world. Uh -huh. He was cast out into the earth. Now, uh-oh, now, now we can locate him. We, now, he, now we can you see... We we now we gonna locate him down here on the earth plane, you understand? Mm -hmm. You understand? We're gonna right. get into that, okay? okay. From these false prophets. Okay? Okay. So now, and true prophets, okay? Mm -hmm. So now. So now he's cast so, so, so read that right here, right here where he's at? Okay. He was cast out into the earth. So he's cast out to the earth. Now <laughs> we we stand on earth itself, you understand? Right. Which is which is which is which is a planet. Right? Mm -hmm. Suspense in midair. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. We on a planet and we suspense we suspense in midair. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. You see how it go? Now he's not talking about earth that we stand on. He's talking about these physical bodies that the satanic spirit and his host have have incarnated in, you mm -hmm. got me? Posing as uh Bishop Wright. Mm -hmm. You understand, know Pastor Bob. Mm -hmm. You understand, know I'm talking about mm -hmm. Cardinal uh, uh, David. Mm -hmm. You understand, know I'm, mm -hmm. I'm talking about these imams, right? These pastors, mm -hmm. these preachers. These some of them call these some apostles now. Yeah. You understand, know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about these priests. You understand? Know yeah. The Pope himself. You understand, know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Talking talk about these religious leaders. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's it's the satanic spirit or, or or the deceiver is 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 incarnated in them. You, you see how I'm yes. talking about? He's in that earth planet incarnated in men, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now go down, go down to um jump back in the in the other column, this column here. Read where it says that it tells you one third. Okay. What verse is that? Uh Revelations twelfth chapter uh -huh. verse five. Read. And his tail drew third part All of the right, star. All right, so understand that his tail. He's talking about a T A T A I L. We're talking about a T A L E. Mm -hmm. If you look at the definition, it's going to tell you a deliberate lie. You got me. Mm -hmm. So his tail, or his deception, or his deliberate lie. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Drew one third of the stars of heaven. All those, you know, stars are symbolic of angels. You understand? Mm -hmm. So his lie, his deception. You got me? Mm -hmm. He hoodwinked, you understand? One third of the angelic host, which which is uh, which is uh, innumerable. You understand right. what I'm talking about? You have innumerable pastors and, and preachers yeah. and bishops and you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and imams and rabbis out here in this world, is that right? Mm -hmm. And religious there's a thousand of them, ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Innumerable, you got me? Yes. And ministers, you understand? Mm -hmm. So that's where it's taking off. Okay. I mean, that's what's taking place now. Now it's down here on the earth plane, so we so we get a so we can understand. You got me. Mm -hmm. What first took place in the invisible realm? You understand what I'm talking about? You see how I go? Mm -hmm. All right. So um, that's good. So now we want to go right over into um, Genesis, the third chapter. Okay, Genesis three and one. Go ahead. Genesis three and one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Who named Bible? So now it's now it's coming down. This this way it makes his appearance, first appearance, when he's cast out of heaven. You understand? Okay. Read. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Uh huh. More subtle. Let's look up the word subtle. So it said the serpent was more subtle than any than any beast of the field. Is that what it That's saying? That's right. All right, let's see that. Let's, let's find out what the definition of the word subtle means. Okay? It should be spelled S-U-B, something like that. S-U-B-T. Okay, sub, subtle. All right. 
I'm going to get right to it. Uh, Subto. Um, um, How do you spell it? How you spell it? Um, S U B T I L. T I L. Yes. That's it. Yes. S U B T I L. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, subtle. Okay, I'm reading it from the um. The second cod edition, the American Heritage Dictionary, the definition of the word subtle, okay? okay. It says, <clears throat> excuse me, it says so slight as to be difficult to detect or analyze mm -hmm. elusive, mm -hmm. okay? Um, clever, mm -hmm. slyness, devious, um, operating in a hidden and unusually injurious way insidious okay mm -hmm. um let's see here yeah that's good that's good mm -hmm. huh? um yeah that's good so it says um difficult to detect yeah yeah okay so that's pretty that's right on point mm -hmm. right so it's, that's the same as that's just that's this being deceived mm -hmm. or deceiving someone. You got me? Same one. So I go. Yeah. No, no, that's three places. Matthew, mm -hmm. right? Um, um, Revelation. Yeah, that was picking we picked the bastard up over in Genesis three. Read now. This division now. All see in reality, the whole Bible mm -hmm. is nothing but visions. All right, mm -hmm. accompanied by divine revelation. All right, okay. that's why y'all we always dealt with man, communicate with man. Okay, mm -hmm. and what it's all about, the whole entire Bible. So this is, this is happening in in the garden. Okay, which is a type of heaven. Okay, okay. which he appears to, to Eve. Eve is having a vision of of this uh, satanic spirit, which is kicked out of heaven. Okay, now he appears in the garden. Mm -hmm. Read. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field uh -huh. which Yahweh Elohim had made. Now Yahweh Elohim made him, read. And he said unto the woman, uh -huh. Hath Elohim said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Uh -huh. And the woman said unto the serpent, uh -huh. We may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden, uh -huh. but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, uh -huh. Elohim has said, uh -huh. Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Lest you die, read. And the serpent said unto the woman, No death will ye die, uh -huh. for Elohim doeth no death. Now you see right there, you say, No, you see how it goes, mm -hmm. No death, see, at deception, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Lying. Right. Misleading. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. There, you jump right off right there, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now, so we understand, so this plate right here is called a transgression plate, okay? Mm -hmm. You have Adam, Eve, you have the satanic spear right here. You got me? Uh, it's all vision communicating with Eve at this time because you just read the conversation to right? Us, right? Mm -hmm. So now, let's pick up um, um, Genesis uh, 4, if I'm not mistaken. Genesis 4. Let me get right to it. Genesis 4 here. Where, um, let's see, Genesis 4. Genesis 4. Genesis 4. Yeah, get, get Genesis 4, uh, verse 1, 2, and um, just get it for verse 1. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, verse 1, and, uh, verse 1 and 2, and then go to um, uh, verse 8 okay. and verse 9. Okay. Okay. Genesis. 
Go ahead. Genesis, uh, uh, chapter four, verse one. Read. Holy name Bible. Read on. And the man knew Eve, his wife. Now, okay, so at this particular, I'm gonna go back up and come forward. Okay. So understand that. Um. The transgression took place. It bit the conversation, right? Mm -hmm. We uh, relayed the, the relayed the conversation to her husband, to her husband Adam. Adam willingly will, willingly died for his bride Eve, right? Right. Okay. So now, here are all three of them. Adam, Eve, and the satanic spirit was cast was cast out of the garden, right? You got me. Got them coming down here, but in this state right here, before they was. Uh, cast out mm -hmm. of Eden on the Garden of Eden, you see here they don't have nothing on. Right. So in other words, their eyes are open to the spirit and closed to the physical. So when they bit the conversation, mm -hmm. their eyes are closed to the spirit, open to the physical. So that's why you see them have, you know, clothes on. You understand? Right. You got to mean meaning physical, right? Mm -hmm. so now here they come. They're coming down. All right. The sun coming down. The archangel Michael there with the swaying of the sword. Uh, um, Adam and Eve and that serpent on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Now they come on down here, all the way down on the bottom here. So that's when they start bearing the Eve, when they start, you know, they start bearing children. I'll say it like that. Okay. So that's when you pick it up, you pick it up now. Okay. Read on. And the man knew Eve. So that means the man knew Eve wasn't new me. means they have intercourse. Mm -hmm. So she got impregnated. So then what happened? And the man knew his, and the man knew Eve, his wife, uh -huh. and she conceived, and, she and conceived. bear came, and bear came, and right? said, "Now bear came." So mm -hmm. now we understand this, Bob. We understand that Cain will represent the satanic spear, meaning meaning the satanic spear was incarnated in that earth. Mm -hmm. You understand? You got me. Right. It's showing it. It's just showing it the type and shadow. You got me. Mm -hmm. Back, back, just like what you we read over in Revelations, you got me? So we understand that satanic, or that Cain represents the satanic spirit. Read on. And, and bear Cain. Uh-huh. And said, I have gotten a man. Uh, a man, read. Even Yahweh. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she again bare his brother, uh -huh. Abel. Uh-huh. And Abel was a herder of sheep. All right, so Abel represents the Holy Spirit, represents Yahshua, okay? In type, you got me? So you got a war in heaven in Revelation, right? Mm -hmm. Michael represents Yahshua, mm -hmm. and the, and the dragon represents Satan. Okay, mm -hmm. which is which is one of his, because it says in our moderation, the 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 um the um the, um, the sixth aim says to 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 avoid and to 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 avoid and being deceived, right? Mm -hmm. By Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon. The I mean, the seventh day. Excuse me. Yes, remember to 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 to, to, to avoid being deceived, right? Mm -hmm. By Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, right? Yes. So it actually mentioned the name dragon mm -hmm. in Revelation 12. Is that right? Right. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. So it says over there the serpent, mm -hmm. right? right? In Revelation 3, right? Yes. You yes. see how I go? Yes. So now they're bearing children. Now we got to watch this. You got to, can, can you see right here? Yes. Okay, so we understand that that um, uh, uh, Yahweh, mm -hmm. see, is pure spirit. He's the only source that there is. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So anything that's 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 being created mm -hmm. or being made is coming from the one source. You got me? Mm -hmm. Whether it's going to be the uh, uh, the Holy Spirit, say it like that. Or the satanic spirit, you got me? Mm -hmm. It got the it got to come from one, it's only one source, is that right? The right. Yahweh got a purpose running. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? Now watch it now. So over in Galatians, now I need, need to pick this up real quick so I'm, so I'm making a point. Okay. Okay? Go forward and get it. Just got to keep your finger right there. Put something there, keep coming right back to it. You want to show you something. Alright? So Galatians. I believe it's Galatians uh, 3, um, let me see, not Galatians 3, Galatians 4, okay, Galatians 4, come on now, we've got, we got to move, Galatians 4 and 26, go ahead and read it. 4, 26, Galatians, Holy Name Bible. Read, what'd you say? 
Galatians. Galatians. Galatians what? Four and twenty six. From where? From the Holy Name Bible. Read. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. It said, but Jerusalem. Now on this chart here, it says Yahweh's Spirit manifested within the clouds, symbolizing eternity. Then it says a little slash there. Your rules them above. Is that right? Yes. Read on. Which is the mother of us all. Start it over again, please. Okay. But Jerusalem, which is above, all right, is free. So you see it have Now, the first figure already said, you can have it. We have chapter and verses on these charts. You got me? Yes. So these are pictorial illustrations that go along right with what you're reading. You got me? Yes. So she just read Jerusalem above. You, you, you can't see it in writing, but you can see it by pictorial illustration. It says you rules you rules them above here, mm -hmm. and you're reading your rules them above in written form, is that right? That's right. In Galatians 4 and 26, right? That's right. So we got the pictorial illustration to go with the written form. You got you got me to go hand in hand, right? Yes. Read. But Jerusalem, which is above uh, is free. Uh-huh, it's free. Read. Which is the mother of us all. Wait a minute now, it says the mother of us all, right? Now watch it. I'm gonna come right over here. You see how I go? Mm-hmm. Now we have Yahweh right here. Is that right? Yes. It says Turkey Brahmatan, then a belief it says Yahweh. Okay? Yes. Yahweh. See, Yahweh is the masculine portion of the Father's name, and Way is the feminine portion of Yahweh's name. Okay? So Yahweh is masculine, feminine within itself in principle. You understand? Yes. So he doesn't need a, a Yahweh. You understand what <laughs> I'm talking right. about? He's, he's the whole everything, you understand? That's right. So in other words, so Yahweh is the father and the mother of us all. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So it said that, so you have Yah, in other words, you got Y-A-W-H, you got me? So this is a grammaton, okay? Mm -hmm. And so in other words, for us to pronounce any words in the English language, you got to have vowels in our in our words, is that right? That's right. So Yah, so he's taking A, the first man that Yahweh made from a physical standpoint. Mm -hmm. He's like the like he's the father. Adam's like the father in type, right? Right. To so the A from Adam, inserting in between the Y and the H makes up Yah. You got me? Mm -hmm. The first woman, Eve, was like the mother. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Right. Of all living. Take the E from Eve and put it between the W and the H makes way. So that's how you come up that's how you come up with Yah. Way in English, right? Right? Is that right? That's for, right. For pronunciation. So you got Adam, you got Yah, Adam, then male. You got Way, even female. You got to be showing that Yahweh is masculine and feminine within himself. Is that right? That's right. So then you go, um, get from me, um, you know, got to back up now. Um, got to back up a little bit. It's real quick, so I'm drawing, I'm drawing something out real quick. It's, no, you got that understood, right? Yes. So, you lose them above with the mother of all. So, Yahweh is our father and mother. Now, go back to, to uh, Genesis real quick. Um, let me see here. Um, you can go to Genesis 3. Um, 20. Okay, and then you can, then I want you to get, uh, let me see here. Before you get there, get, get Genesis 2 and 18 and 19, okay? okay. Then I want you to go to um, Genesis uh, 5 and 1. And two, okay? okay, and then go to um, Genesis three and twenty, just like I just like I gave it to you. Do it just like that that way. Go go and go 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 and go there now. Genesis three, um, one and twenty. You're missing the boat. You're missing the whole thing. Come on now, get it right. I need to go to Genesis two. Go to Genesis 2, mm -hmm. verse 18 and verse 19. Okay? All right. Then go to Genesis 
5, verse 1 and 2. Then go to Genesis 3 and 20. Okay? Just like that. Let's go. Genesis 2, 18 and 20. Read. And Yahweh Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. Okay, now Yahweh Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. Okay? okay. Now, um, you can, can you pan down here? Yes. Right at the bottom down here, it's, it's the place, our 40 plate chart, plate 12, says the vision between male and female, okay? So down here, it says, woman immersed in Yahshua, okay? okay? All right? You have Adam here on the, on the ground, okay? You hear me? Mm -hmm. Now go ahead and read. And, and Yahweh Elohim... I mean, he's laying on his back on the, on the earth, on the ground. Read. Okay. And Yahweh Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. Right. And he slept. Uh -huh. And he took the rib of... And, and he took the rib and womb and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Uh -huh. And the rib and the womb which Yahweh Elohim had taken from man uh -huh. made he a woman. Read. And now, you, now you don't see no so you don't see no woman here? No. See, six you don't see no woman here. You don't see no woman here. You don't see no woman here. You understand? Mm -hmm. So now after this after this you call the deep sleep to come upon Adam. Uh, start he gonna do he gonna do surgery on Adam, you got me? Mm -hmm. You'll take the, the rib and the womb out. Now you see in this play here you see the woman beside the man. You got me? Yes. To show you that the woman was inside the man all along. To show that Yahweh is masculine, you understand? Mm -hmm. And feminine, you understand? Within himself, you understand? Yes. You see how I go? So Yahweh is birthing out. You know, you, you creation or birthing out his purpose. You understand? Yes. He's the source of everything. You got me? Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So then there will be here, you see right here, the woman beside the man. See that? You see it? Yes. Okay, so now go to Genesis 5. Genesis 5. No, go just start back to Genesis. Wherever you was at last. 18 and 19 yes, verses. Sir. Go ahead and read. Come on. And the rib and the womb which Yahweh Elohim had taken from man made he one man right. and brought her out unto the man. Uh -huh. And the man said, This is now bone of my bone yeah. and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called one man right. because she was taken out of man. Uh huh. That's good? Yes. Well, Genesis, uh, where we have? Come on, we got to go. Genesis 5. Read. Point Verse 8 Bible one and 1. Yes, sir. Read. This is a book of the generation of Adam. Uh-huh. In the day that Elohim created man in the likeness of Adam. Now he said in the day, in the, in, the, in the day, meaning the day of eternity, all right? Okay. okay. Read on. Read. Okay. In the day that Yahweh, the, in the day that Elohim created man in the likeness of Elohim, mm -hmm. made he him. Right. Male and female created he them. Right, see, male and female created he them. See, read, come on. And blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. See, they blessed them and called their name Adam. You mean to tell me Eve's name was Adam? You got me before it was taken out? You see how I go? Yes. He said they called their name Adam. Is that right? Yes. While a woman was inside the man. You see how I go? Yes. Read. That the end of that? Yes. That one and two verses? Yes. That what? Uh, huh? Yes. Now I'm in uh, Exodus 3. And what? And and 1 and 20. I'm just saying verse 1. Uh, verse 20, please. Verse 20. What are you reading from? I'm reading from Genesis, the third chapter, verse 20. Read. And the man called his wife name Eve. No, the man called his name wife Eve. Read. Come on. And the man called his wife named Eve, Read. because she was the mother of, of all living. You say, go. God said that she was the mother of all living. You say, go. Yeah. Now you got the reading over in, Ge in Galatians four twenty six that said Jerusalem above. Is that right? Yeah. Is the mother of us all? Is that what it says? That's right. Now it does a mother of us all and a mother of all living sound the same to you? Mm -hmm. Is that something? Yes. You say, go. Yes. The mother of all living. 
Mm-hmm. You rose him above with the mother of us all. He got me at the source. That's the womb. The universal womb. You see how it go? Mm-hmm. Everything proceed out of. You see how it go? You see how it go? Yes. You see how it go? Yes. So now, now here, the mother of all living, you understand, over in Genesis 4, right? Right. Read it again. Genesis 4 and 1 and Genesis 4 and 1 and 2. Come on. And Genesis 4 and 1, Holy Name Bible. Read. And the man knew Eve, his now, wife. Now the man knew Eve or the mother of all living, read. And she conceived and bare Cain. Now see the mother of all living. You see how I go? The universal womb. You see how I go? Yes. Which is the source. See? Came out of that womb. You see how I go? Or came out or came from the source. You see how I go? Yes. You see how I go? Yes. So so just like just like over in Revelation, you understand what I'm talking about? You got me? Mm-hmm. So the Satanic Spirit coming out first, mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit coming out second, you know, in, in, in principle. You got me? You see how I go? So we understand Cain represents the Satanic Spirit or the dragon. Yes. You got me? Yes. A represents the Holy Spirit or Yahshua. You see how I go? Yes. You see how I go? So now going up, read. Genesis uh Fourth chapter, verse eight and nine. Read. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. Now Cain talked with Abel, his brother. Read. And it came to pass when they were in the field. Uh huh. That Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, uh-huh. and slew him. Uh huh. Now you have it down here, okay, on the forty plate chart. The antediluvian, antediluvian, and it says apostasy. Is that right? Plate sixteen. Now you down here at the bottom. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. It says Cain, the murderer of Abel. That's what you're reading at, right? So you have you have Cain down here. He has he took the staff of, or the Cain, the staff and Cain one and the same. You got me? Took took it from took it from Abel. You got me? Mm-hmm. And when he slew when he slew Abel, it like kind of like a backfiring. You understand? Um. That went on his head. That six six six. You got me. Mm-hmm. Went on his head. You understand what I'm talking about? You see how I go? Mm-hmm. The mark of the beast. The satanic spirit. You got me. Down here at the bottom. You got me. Okay. That's good. You see how I go? Yes. Read on. Come on. Continue to read. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, uh-huh. and it came to pass uh-huh. when they were in the field uh-huh. that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Read. And Yahshua and Yahweh said unto Cain, uh-huh. Where is Abel thy brother? Uh-huh. And he said, I know not. And See, there's the lie right there. You see how it go? Mm-hmm. You see how it go? That's good. Okay. You see how it go? Okay. All right, so now, going down to, um, you see, Genesis. Let's see here, Genesis, um, Genesis, um, I want to say, Genesis, yeah, Genesis 4, yeah, same chapter, who's that? Genesis 4, um, Um, let's go to verse uh, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. Go ahead. Genesis, fourth chapter, uh, 13, Holy Name Bible. Me. And Cain said unto Yahweh, uh-huh. My iniquity is greater than I can bear. Uh huh. So she said, My iniquity, right? Now, uh-huh. on this chart right here, we have the Eya Asher Eya, which has a mystery of righteousness or the mystery of Yahweh. Mm-hmm. You have over here the mystery of iniquity. You got me? Okay. So it says the word iniquity, right? Mm-hmm. Read. My iniquity, read. Is greater than I can bear. Uh-huh. Behold. Behold, thy has driven me out of out this day uh-huh. from the face of the ground. Uh-huh. And from thy face shall I be hid. Read. And I shall be a for a, a vagabond. A, a, and, and a wanderer in the earth. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. Read. And Yahweh said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, uh-huh. vengeance shall be taken on him. Sevenfold. Read. And Yahweh shall 
And Yahweh set a mark upon Cain. So they set that mark on Cain. That mark is six. You see how I go? You see how I go? Yes. So we got a six. A six in the in the antediluvian age. You got me? Mm -hmm. You got a six in the in the, the six in the third age, post diluvian age. Mm -hmm. And then we have a six over here. Okay, in our present kingdom age, the fourth age. Okay, we're gonna pick these sixes up. Okay. Okay. In eight. So you gotta stand Cain. Mm -hmm. It's like the six in Abel is like is like the number eight, okay? okay? Six and eight running side by side, you got me? It jumped off in heaven. You got me now I hit the earth plane, you understand? Okay. You gotta pick it up. So now we gotta pick it up over here in the third A. We're gonna pick it up in a minute. Okay, so that mark, you gotta put that mark on him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now he says the wonder word. Yes. Sir. Right? Mm -hmm. And he said that um, iniquity, iniquity has been, um, iniquity has been, um, it, uh, and Cain said unto Yahweh, my iniquity is greater than I can bear. Yeah. Talking about iniquity. Okay. okay. I need you to get for me Job. Just read it right here because I'm wondering now. Get for me Job. He says he's a wanderer, right? Mm hmm. Okay. I need you to um, read for me Job 1 and 6, Holy Name Bible. Come on, let's go. Job 1 and 6, Holy Name Bible. Uh -huh. Now there was a day when the sons of Elohim came to present themselves before Yahweh. Now, you mind you now, it said that Eve was the mother of all living. Is that what you read? Yes. And then also say in Galatians 4 and 26, that the rule of above, is that right? Mm -hmm. Is the mother of us all, is that right? Right. Right? The mother of all living, the mother of us all, is that right? Mm -hmm. The source, the universal womb of Yahweh, is that what it says? Mm -hmm. Yahweh is masculine and feminine within the of principle, is that right? Right. You see how I So, he the one that bursts out, you got me? Mm -hmm. Burst, birthed out, you know? The righteous and unrighteous, you understand? Mm -hmm. The mystery of Yahweh, the mystery of iniquity come right from right here, is that right? Yes. There's only one sort that didn't come from, is that right? Mm -hmm. You see how it go? Yes. Or the sons of Yahweh, and sons of the satanic spirit. Read on. Okay. Come on. Now, there was a day when the sons of Elohim came to present themselves before Yahweh, uh -huh. and Satan came also see, among them. Satan came also too, see? See? Didn't he say, he, didn't he say she burnt out? Cain. Yes. Right? Right. Birthed out Abel. Is that mm -hmm. right? It got to be like that. Read. Come on. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Whence cometh thou? Read. Then Satan answered Yahweh and said, From going to and fro. From going to and fro. You see what I'm saying? I was wondering. The same thing yes. he said. Right, right. I've been wondering uh -huh. all across the earth play. You got me? Mm -hmm. Wondering. Read. Come on. In the earth. Uh -huh. And from walking up and down. Yeah, read. <laughs> read. And Yahweh said unto Satan, uh -huh. As I Consider my servant Job. See, 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 see now Job. See, see, Job had the spirit of it was a type of Yahshua. You see how I don't read. That there is none like him in the earth. Uh -huh. A perfect and an upright man. See? One that fears Elohim. See, one that fears Elohim or, or reverence or respects him. You see how I don't? Mm -hmm. Now, we're gonna start right there. Okay. Now we need to jump over to Isaiah. Um let's go couple places over here. Isaiah. Uh, let's see here. Isaiah. Let's see here. Isaiah. Isaiah 14. Um, let's see here. Um, Yeah, Isaiah 14, verse 12, mm -hmm. 13, 14, and um, 15, all right? Okay. And then go from there, go to, um, go to um, Ezekiel. No, 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 excuse me. Go to, um, let me see. Um, 
Yeah, uh, what's the time on there? 131. Okay. So let's get go real quick. Get Jeremiah. Um, um, Jeremiah 23, um, verse 13 and 14. 23. Yes. Verse 13 and 14. And um, 16. And 25, 26, and 27 verses. Okay. Then get Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel 28. Um, 14. And 15. Yeah, that's good, because I want to get over to Here. Yeah, get for me Isaiah 14th, uh, Isaiah 14th chapter, I believe it is. Uh, Isaiah 14th and 12, Holy read, Name Bible. Read. How art thy fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Uh huh. So now, see, it's the same thing Isaiah picking him up. You got me? He yes. having a vision. So, the same thing John's had seen, right? Mm -hmm. He said, How art thou falling from heaven? Because it said the war in heaven, right? Right. That the satanic spirit. Um, in other words, lost and they was, and his holy was cast out of heaven. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Read. O Lucifer, son of the morning, uh -huh. how art thy cut down to the ground? Read or cut down to the earth plane. Read. Which doeth weaken the nations? Uh huh. For thy has said in thy heart, I will ascend in the heaven. Uh huh. I will exalt my throne above of the stars of El. Read. I will set also upon the mount of the congregation uh -huh. in the sides of the north. Uh -huh. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Read. I will be like the most high. Mm -hmm. Yet I sh shall be brought down mm -hmm. to the grave, right. to the sides Read. of the pit. Uh -huh. So I go as yeah. far as the pit, see? To the grave and the pit and these pool pits. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, read on. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23 chapter. Uh, 13. Holy name Bible. Read. And I and I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. Uh -huh. Samaria. So, Samaria, read. Samaria. They, um. Read, please. They. Read, please. Just read. Profited in the name of Baal. They profit. They say they profit. They profit in the name of Baal or the or the name. Or the or uh, erroneous title of Lord. See, Baal and Lord make the self same thing. Mm -hmm. So the, the false prophets is prophet is 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 prophet is is is, is profiting. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's like they're doing in the religious world today. Mm -hmm. They profiting off your money. Mm -hmm. You got me. Speaking lies to you, deceit, right? Mm -hmm. Hoodwinking you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Misleading you. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And and having you doing these carnal acts, you understand? That Yash Messiah said he that he came in to fulfill, you got me? Mm -hmm. Foot washing, water baptism, you got me? 
a room we call Lord's Suppers, you got me? Mm -hmm. Passover feast, you understand? Trying to keep the Ten Commandments and um, and you trying to keep the Sabbath days, you understand? He knelt there to the cross, you got me? Fulfilled that, you got me? Yes. Ushered in a new and living way or converted to a spiritual reality. He said, I didn't come to destroy the law and the prophets. Mm -hmm. I came to fulfill, you understand? So yes. this, doing this on this side of the cross, you got me? It's yes. invalid, you understand? Mm -hmm. So the satanic spirit has took this and drug it over here, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And misleading the people today, deceiving the people today, you understand? Know Club wicking the people today, mm -hmm. you understand? Know said the Yahweh Messiah didn't do what he said that he came in to fulfill, you understand? Know mm -hmm. Because it all was testifying of him, you understand know what I'm talking about? Yes. So this was going on over here. You got prophesying you out your money, mm -hmm. I mean, profiting. When you say you gotta pay tithes and offering, you gonna say, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They call them hirelings. You got me? Mm -hmm. Read on. Um, in the name of Baal, uh -huh. and cause my and cause my people Israel to err. Uh huh. Call people to error. Read. I have seen also in the prophets of Jer uh, Jerusalem uh -huh. in har in horrible things. Uh -huh. They committed adultery and walked in lies. They yeah. See, walk in lies. Read. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers, uh -huh. that that none doeth return from his wickedness. They are all, they are all of them unto me as Sodom, and the inhabitants thereof of Gomorrah. Read. Okay. Read on. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, hearken and Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. All right, that, hearken not or listen not to the false prophets or these demonic spirits incarnated in these pastors and bishops and imams and priests, you understand? Mm -hmm. And rabbis, you got me? Mm -hmm. Don't listen to them. Talking about the spirits coming through them. Don't listen to them. Read. Uh, they, make you, they make you to hope in vain as they speak of visions of their own heart and not out of the mouth of Yahweh. They speak visions of their own heart, not, not out of the mouth of Yahweh, read. I have heard what the prophets said that prophesied lies mm -hmm. in my name. So I heard what the prophets say that, that prophesied, I heard what the satanic spirit is saying through these through these men, you got me, that prophesied lies. See, he's a liar. See, he's a deceiver. Is that right? Yes. When, when that, that's what's in him. That's how Yahweh created him. See how it goes? Mm -hmm. All right. They prophesied lies in my name, Yahweh. See, let no man deceive you. You got me? Mm -hmm. Many will come in my name. See, many will come in the name of Yahshua Messiah, saying, You see how I go? Mm -hmm. The satanic spirit, you got to know the conversation. Read on. Come on. In my name, saying, I have I have dreamed. I have, I have dreamed. dreamed. Uh huh. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I asked Yahweh or God who told me to build this building on the corner. You got me? Mm -hmm. God said this. God said that. No, it's of your own. You got me? Right. That's his bastard here speaking like that. Read on. How long shall this be in the hearts of the prophets that prophesy lies? They prophesy lies. Read. They are prophets of their deceit yeah. of their own heart. See, see deceit. There you go again. Read. They own. Read. Which on. thing to cause my people to forget my Which name. Which thing to cause my people to forget my name, Yahweh. See, read. They've been doing it. They've been doing a damn good job of that. You understand? Mm -hmm. But Yahweh not having it. You got me? Yes. He restoring. Or he delivered his, his his sheep, you got me, from these false prophets. You got me, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You got me? Mm -hmm. And they will know that his name is Yahweh, the divine title Elohim, mm -hmm. and the name of the Holy Spirit, the name of the Savior, Yahshua, meaning Yahweh is salvation. They will know this. You got me? Yes. If China calls my people to forget my name for Lord, mm -hmm. Baal, Jehovah, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, false title God. Jesus Christ, you got me? Mm -hmm. For uh, 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 Buddha, Allah, Buhala, Krishna, Joseph Smith, you got me? For mm -hmm. Rob Muhammad, you're trying to, trying to get my people to forget my name. Read on. To forget my name by their dreams, uh -huh. which they tell every man uh -huh. to his neighbor, uh -huh. as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. So you forgot my name for the Lord, or Jehovah, or Yahweh, or, Yah or Yahweh Shah. Buddha, Buhala, Krishna, Allah, you got me? Yes. Joseph Smith, you see what I'm saying? 
Barab Muhammad. See, trying to give my people to forget my name, Yahweh. Elohim, Yahshua. Read on. Ezekiel 28, 28 chapter. Four right. name Bible. Read. 14. That are the anointed cherubim that uh, cover it. See, see, there you go. See, that was, see, that's why I was saying. They say there's a rope down there. Mm -hmm. He said that there, once upon a time that this satanic spirit or Lucifer, mm -hmm. he covered, you got me, he covered on the backside of Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, before he was kicked out of heaven. Read. Read, read it again. That uh, are the anointed cherubim uh -huh. that covered. Oh, uh, see. And I have set thee so. See, Yahweh said he's sitting there. He got something to read. Come on. That was upon the holy that mountain. That was upon a time. Was in was in the third heaven. Was read. Holy mountain of Elohim. Mm -hmm. That was walked up and down in the midst. Walked up and down <laughs> the in the stones, third heaven. Read. Of the stones of fire. Read. That was perfect in thy ways. Was perfect in thy ways. Read. From the day that thy was created. See, come see, daylight created, or, or come from uh, come from uh the mother of all living, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or you rules them above the mother of us all, you got me? Mm -hmm. Universal womb, you got me? Yes. Came out of there, read. Till iniquity was found in thee. See, read. Keep um John ten. Mm-hmm. John ten. John ten, holy name Bible. Read. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that he that entered not by the door into the shepherd, shepherd, shepherd fold, he, but he that entered not in by the door of the sheepfold, read, really, sheepfold, yes, read, come on, but climb up some other way, climb outside, climb <laughs> outside, see, read, the same as a thief and a robber, the same as a thief and a robber or a false prophet or a deceiver, read, wow. but he that enter in by the door uh -huh. is the shepherd of the sheep. Read. To him the potter opens, and the sheep hear his voice. Read. The sheep hear his voice. The, hear, the, the, the sheep hear Yahshua. Read. And he calleth his own sheep by name. Read. And leadeth them out. Read. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. Oh, he goes and, before them. Read. And the sheep follow him. And the sheep follow him. Read. For they know his voice. Read. And a stranger will they not follow? Yeah, yeah we don't. Yeah, we don't. We don't follow that that deceiver. You know what I'm saying? We don't follow uh, uh, that one that, that that hoodwinks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We don't follow that satanic spirit voice. Read on. But we'll flee from him. We will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strength. See, we know not the voice of this bastard. Read. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians, eleventh chapter. Second Corinthians 11, chapter, Holy Name Bible. Read. For such are false apostles. See, so such are false prophets. For, for such are false apostles. You have true, the true apostle, mm -hmm. which is Yahweh Elohim, so he's everything. Mm -hmm. You have a false Messiah, false apostle. Read. Deceitful workers. Deceitful Tra workers. See that? Read. Transforming themselves into apostles of the Messiah. See, all is out here? These yeah. are deceitful workers. You got me? Mm-hmm. You see how I go? Yes. Deceitful workers. You see how I go? Telling you that y'all, telling you that Lord is the Heavenly Father name. Telling you that Jesus is the Savior name. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. Telling you got to eat Lord's suppers and Passover feast and, 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 and get water baptized and, and, and pay tithes and offerings. That's right. Deceitful workers. You understand? Yes. Read. Come on. And... No and no marvel for Satan. And do not marvel. Do not marvel about this read. Uh, transformeth himself into an angel of light. See, Satan form transform himself to an angel of light. Read. Therefore, it is no. It is no great thing. It is no great thing if his ministers if his also ministers, transform read. as ministers of righteousness, uh -huh. who the who end shall be according to the works. All right. Well, end shall be according to the works. All right. Go to the next one, please. Uh, second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Yes. Second Thessalonians, second chapter. Read. Yes, and the third verse. Read. Let no man deceive you See, by let any means. See, let no, let, don't let these satanic spirits fool you. Read. Let no man deceive you by any means. Uh huh. Uh, for that day shall come, except they, except there come, 
a falling away first. Drop it all over again. Excuse me. Let no man deceive you let, by. Let, let, don't let these satanic spirits fool you. Read. Let no man deceive you by any means. By any means. For that day shall not come. Uh huh. Except there come a falling away because first. They're falling away first. Read. And that man of sin that be man revealed. That man of sin, see, that satanic spirit be revealed. Read. Incarnated in a man. Read. The son of perdition. The son of perdition. Who op opposes the excellent himself. Excellent himself above all. Now hold it now. See that man. See that man. See that man. Now we see it has it said over there in the antediluvian age has 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 gotten a man. Right. Is that right? That's right. Cain, right? Mm -hmm. There's six on him, right? Mm -hmm. Then we come on over here. In the third age, post aluvian age, you understand? Um you got a uh, you got a no in other words, you got a six here. You also have an eight, Abel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Abel, Cain. You know what I'm saying? Let me just wait over there in um in um in uh uh um Isaiah and Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. at number six again, six, you know I'm talking about. You got me? Mm -hmm. And we also have um Yahshua who's eight. Right. You see what I'm saying? You have Judas, we didn't get a chance to pick it up. Um is uh, uh what the six let me see real quick here this picture real quick um this red Yeah, give for me John the thirteenth chapter. John thirteen, Holy Name Bible. Read on. Eighteen. John thirteen eighteen, Holy Name Bible. Yes. Sir. Read on. I speak not of you all. Uh huh. I know whom I have chosen. See, Joshua Sire says he said, "Now I know who I have chosen." Read. But that the Scripture may be fulfilled. Now the Scripture may be fulfilled. See, read. He that eateth bread with me. He, he that eateth bread with me. Has lifted up his heel against me. Says so lift up his heel against me. See now, now right there, um, talks about that heel. Mm -hmm. you know, over here in Genesis, uh, after that act, after that act took place, the transgression. Mm -hmm. So Yahweh put um, had put um, um, uh, and over here I just read it real quick over here in Genesis third chapter. Uh, Holy Name Bible, verse 15 says, Now, I'll start at verse 13. Genesis 3 and 13, Holy Name Bible says, And Yahweh Elohim said unto the woman, What is this What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me or deceived me, right? Mm -hmm. And I did eat. And Yahweh Elohim said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field upon thy belly. That's why you see it coming out when they all three coming out. Mm -hmm. Transgression, they all gotta come up out of there, right? Mm -hmm. Archangel Michael is his is guarding is guarding the way to treat the guarding the way. Mm -hmm. Flaming flaming sword. Eight uh, of Adam, Eve, and you see a serpent on the belly, on the mm -hmm. ground. So I know mm -hmm. coming about the garden, right? It says Adam, Jim out, see? It then goes um Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all days of thy life. Then verse 15, Genesis 3 and 15, Holy Name Bible. And I will put enmity between thee and, thee and the woman. Mm -hmm. You got me? Mean enmity or mean a division. Mm -hmm. You got me? And between thy seed and her seed, so I go, mm -hmm. he shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So mm -hmm. I go, mm -hmm. and then the heel go again, right? Mm -hmm. I'll go back over to uh, uh, John 13, chapter. John 13, chapter. John 13, okay. come on. Yes, I speak not of you all. Uh -huh. I know who I have chosen, uh -huh. but that the scripture may be fulfilled. Now, hold it right there. Now, Joshua Messiah said, for you speak to illustration, why he, before he got on the cross, taking place in 30, post living age. Now, in another uh, chapter and verse, it says, uh, he said, I have chosen, I have chosen you all, mm -hmm. but one of you 
or is but one of you is the devil. You see how it go? But this this is this is the one, but he was said actually like that in this verse, but still it all read on. You pick up the sixes. Six here, mm -hmm. six here, eight here, eight over here. See? Read. Uh he that eateth bread with me hath he hath lift up his heel against me. Lift up his heel, read, come on. Uh, Yahshua answered and said, Where are you reading from, uh, please? John 13. And what? And 26. Read. Yahshua answered and Yahshua answered, He it is. Speak it over again. Come on now. Yahshua answered, He it is to whom I have given a snoop. Gave him, gave him sop. Sop. When I dipped it. And when he had dipped the stop. Start all over again. Start the whole verse again. Yahshua answered. Start. Go back up one verse. Just go back up one verse. Okay. He then. He. What then, verse you on? Uh, twenty-five. Read. He then lying on Yahshua's breast said, "Breast said unto him, Rabbi, who is it?" Yahshua answered, "He it is to whom I." Shall give a sop uh -huh. when I have dipped it, and when he had dipped the sop, uh -huh. he gave it to Jonah, Judah, Judah that, uh -huh. Iscariot, Reed. the son of uh, Simon. Read. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. So enter, so Satan entered into Judah. So there mm -hmm. we go. So we have six here, mm -hmm. six here, eight here, eight here. Eight is Yahshua. You got me. Mm -hmm. A back here is Abel. You know what this type of shall mean? What I mean by that, I mean the spirit incarnated in men, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, Abel, Cain, Yahshua, Judas. You got me? Read on. Then Yahshua, uh, uh, then said Yahshua unto him, What thou doest, do quickly. So what thou doest, do it quickly. Same thing. So over here, you know, I was praying the kingdom, maybe we now reside, see the same one. Satan, do what you're going to do quickly. Mm -hmm. You got know I me? Mean? Because you know what your what the final outcome is for you. You got know I me? Mean? Mm -hmm. As well as deception and deception and lies and, and, and murdering and mayhem is taking place in, in the in society, okay? Okay. Now, just get real quick. Just, just start back over in Thessalonians. And I'm going to get right over here, Revelation 13. Uh, I'll read it real quick here. Revelation 13. Revelation 13. Revelation 13 and 18, Holy Name Bible says, Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the idol of the beast, for it is the number of a man, mm. and his number is 603 score and 6. You see how it goes? Mm -hmm. That's 666. You see how it goes? Mm -hmm. He said, that Eve bear, bear a man, right? Mm -hmm. Call the name Cain. Same man, with the same mark on him, right? Mm -hmm. Same six on him, same six here, same six here. See, Cain, you got me? Yes. Judas. Mm -hmm. And that six we're talking about in our present kingdom age on the Pope of Rome. We're talking about spirits incarnated, you got me? Right. In men. You got me? Right. Passed out of heaven into the earth. You got me saying? Mm -hmm. You got Abel, Yahshua. You know what I'm saying? In other words, it's Yah 888. Eight, eight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit was poured out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yahshua, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua coming right back. You see how you go? Mm -hmm. Form of the Holy Spirit. You got me? 888-666. You got me? Read on. Finish off with Thessal Second Thessalonians uh, uh, 2. Second Thessalonians 2 and uh, 4. Or 2 and 3. Holy name by. Yeah, read on. Let no man deceive you right. by any means. Let, let, don't let the satanic spirits deceive you by any means. Read. For that day shall shall not come, except there come a falling away first, uh -huh. and that man of sin uh -huh. be revealed. See that the son man of, of sin. See that man got the number six six six. He has been revealed. You see what I'm saying? He has been revealed by the spirit of incarnate in our founder. You understand? Mm -hmm. So when Yahshua has revealed them to the sons, who that man he talking about? See, it's over, over here in, in the Pope, you understand? Mm -hmm. So what they say, tell spirit, read. Who opposes 
himself above all that is called Elohim uh -huh. or that is worshipped so that he as the almighty uh -huh. sitteth in the temple of Yahweh uh -huh. showing himself that he is the mighty one mm -hmm. for the mystery of iniquity doeth see, already he work. He think he's sitting there but see Yahweh on oh, Yahshua is the one sitting on our throne. Shall I go? Mm -hmm. Read on. Already work. The okay. mystery of iniquity all uh, doeth already work. Read. Only he who uh, no restraints will restrain until he be taken out of the way. Uh -huh. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom mm -hmm. Yahweh, Yahshua, shall right consume. Mm -hmm. Then shall the wicked be revealed, whom Yahshua will decide, what? Oh, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, uh -huh. and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yes. Even him whom coming is after the working of Satan uh -huh. with all power and signs of lying wonders. Uh -huh. Lying and, wonders. And with all deceivableness. Deceivableness. Uh -huh. See that? Read. And unrighteousness in them that perish. Uh -huh. Because they receive not the love of the truth. They, they receive not the love of the truth. Read. That they might be saved. See. And for the and for this cause. And for this cause. Yahweh. Yahweh. Shall send them strong delusion. Shall send them strong delusion. Read. That they shall believe a lie. They shall believe this bastard read. That they that they all might be judged who believe not the truth, uh -huh. but have pleasure in unrighteousness. We'll have pleasure in unrighteousness, read. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh. All right, we are bound you. to give thanks always to Yahweh, read. For you, brethren, beloved, beloved of him, because he hath from the beginning, from the beginning, chosen you, chosen us to salvation, to salvation, through sanctification, through sanctification, of separation, the, right? of, of the spirit, of the spirit, and belief of the truth. All right. Whereupon he called you by our evangel, by right, our gospel, read to the obtaining of the glory of our Savior, all right, Yahshua the Messiah. All right. You got anything on today's class? All praise and glory all belongs to Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. Our Messiah, our King, our brother, and hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, that will conclude another lecture given by the Omaha Class College Meetings. Uh, there, is there any comments? I'll praise God as Messiah for class. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, let's see here. Our official website of the organization, you can go to www.idmr.net. And get the get the official history, the official background of the entire organization to to see for yourself that this is not a fly by night organization. We upload videos after every class, and our video can be found. You go to YouTube, search, and put in IDMR Omaha, and uh, ask the Yash Messiah League direct and guide you to the video that he wants you to watch. I want to promote um, some other IDMR classes that upload their videos, uh, videos also. Once again, you go to YouTube, uh, search, put in, put in um, IDMR, Oceanside, IDMR, IDMR Syracuse, IDMR Spanish Town, Jamaica, IDMR Arc Port, IDMR Ontario, IDMR Southfield, IDMR Springfield, IDMR Albuquerque, IDMR Tampa, Florida, IDMR Lansing, Michigan, and I have, uh, there's one other branch school that doesn't um, have, uh, you go to YouTube, search, but do not put an IDMR in front of their name. But the name of the branch school that upload their videos is Memphis Side Class. So you go to IDMR, I mean, uh, excuse me, go to YouTube, search, put in Memphis Side Class, and their videos will pop up, okay? And I want to, want to promote four websites. The first one is ayahasheraya.org, spelled A-Y-A-H space A-S-H-E-R space A-Y-A-H.org. The second one is www.plim.org. The third one is www.eliyah.com. Elias spelled E L I Y A H. www.eliah.com. 
Okay, and the fourth one is Yashuan's given glory. Yashuan spelled Y-A-H-S-H-U-A-N-S, -S, given glory. Okay, and we have one other um, class. They do not upload video, but they do what they have, uh, what they call conference calls. This is our Meridian, Mississippi class. Their conference calls, live conference calls. The number is seven, is number is one, seven one two seven seven zero four seven zero zero. And then you put in six seven six one two three hashtag. And uh, for for previous recorded conference calls, you dial one seven one two seven seven zero four seven zero nine. Put in six seven six one two three hashtag. Once again, this is this is the Meridian Mississippi class conference calls. Okay, and um, that's it for that. Also, um, if you'd like to uh, attend a class here, um, you can contact us by email. Our email address is Joshua47 at gmail.com. Once again, our email address is Joshua spelled Y A H. S H U A 47 at gmail.com. And uh, yes, if the uh, any visiting brethren, I mean, any brethren that might be traveling through the Omaha, Nebraska area for north, west, east, or south, uh, just give us an email and let us know what um, what day you'd like to come in and, and, and to sup with us. Like I say, our email address is already given. And any first time viewers or those that live in Omaha, Nebraska, like to attend a class here, um, give us an email. And um, if you're not, if you don't feel comfortable coming here, we'll bring the class to you. And also you can contact us by phone. My number, Dr. Stefan Williams, is area code 402-973-897. And for Rapunzel Williams, her phone number is 402 area code. 609-6588. Is that it? We hold, we hold classes on. Yes, yeah, excuse me. We hold, we hold classes on Wednesdays and Fridays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and on Sundays from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Like I always like to say, we welcome anyone that like to attend a class here. We ask when you come, we ask that you pay attention. We're not paid ministers. We're not going to ask you for any monies. These are free lectures. Um, and if you have a testimony or, or something that you like to um, express or, or teach, we'll allow you to get up and teach. Okay, but it goes both ways. You have to listen to what we have to say and we will listen to what you have to say, all right? Yes. So, um, praise Joshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all then stand for the doxology, which can be found in the King James Version of Jude, spelled J U D E, verse 24 and 25. And from the Holy Name Bible, the book is called Judah, spelled J-U-D-A-H, verse 24 and verse 25. Come on. Do it slow. Okay. Now turn is able to keep you from falling and to present you father before his presence with exceedingly joy. To the only wise Elohim, my Savior, the Yahshua Messiah, our Sovereign, belong glory, majesty, dominion, and power before all time, now and ever, as the class saying, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.